know how I'm so late, but I just finished reading a Forbes article published October of 2022, which says black women leaders are more ambitious, but less supported at work, according to the McKinsey and Lean In study. Now, last year, McKinsey and Lean In decided to survey 40,000 women, and they produced this report talking about the state of women in the workplace. For the sake of time, I'm just going to highlight a few statistics, and I'm going to give you some thoughts on what I think about this report. The first point was that 59% of Black women leaders want to be top executives compared to 49% of women overall. The second was that 20% of Black women leaders have had their qualifications questioned, or it's been simply implied they're not qualified compared to 12% of women overall. 38% of Black women have had to deal with being mistaken for someone at a lower level in the company, and 55% of Black women leaders have had their judgment questioned in comparison to 39% of women overall. What's crazy is I'm sitting here and I literally have a story time for each one of those statistics. Crazy. Anyway, story goes on to talk about how the work environment um, is becoming or has always been psychologically unsafe for Black women. And it mentions the fact that Black women are becoming entrepreneurs at a faster rate than other people. And they're wondering why. The thing I want to say after having worked in corporate America since 2005, and mind you, I still work in corporate and I like my job a lot, but this is my advice to anybody who is up and coming in corporate America. And before I say this, I'm not telling you to lack ambition. I'm not telling you to not go after your dreams. I'm telling you to be strategic in your thinking. Okay, my advice to you is simple. You will always get the most from your corporate position when you are willing to accept what your company is willing to give. In other words, don't be in the relationship expecting marriage when they only want to date casually. I know some of us are struggling with self-worth issues. Some of us have been traumatized in the workplace. Some of us don't understand the value we bring to companies. So we come into these organizations as pick me type employees and it drives me crazy. It drives me crazy because pick me type employees who really want the most from this job or from anybody who's willing to give it to them will literally do the absolute most. And it makes it difficult for people who have kind of understood their relationship with their jobs to set the appropriate boundaries. It's especially dangerous for underrepresented folks, because if you have this subset of folks who are willing to do the absolute most for you to give them at a boy, and then you have these folks who understand you're not trying to marry me, so I'm going to do a good job, but I'm taking my ass home. It makes these folks look as though they're underperforming and you praise these folks and set the bar at their level. 